Hello everyone, this is Ryan Nickel from Rowan University's 3D Printing Club and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a mini desk organizer that can hold some uh, index cards along with some pens and pencils and things like that. So as per usual, when we're making a new on-shape document, we can go to Create and Document. I'm going to name mine a desk folder. So then we load into our 3D space, and as per usual, we're going to have to use our sketch tool and sketch on a plane, and I'm going to select the front plane. doesn't really matter which one you select because we'll all work in the same way. But so I selected the front plane, right? So if I go to this top right cube and I select front, it'll make it normal so I can look at it in a more friendly fashion. And in order to begin, we're going to start with the base of our uh, desk organizer. So I'm just going to make a simple rectangle here, and then I'm going to use my dimension tool up here to dimension it into what I want. And luckily, I've already done the math to get a fairly uh, nice size to hold some pencils and some index cards, considering index cards are usually 3 by 5 so I made a 3.1 space wide, in the, which you'll see soon, so they can slide in very easily. So the rectangle that we are making here is a 5.7 by 5 inch uh, rectangle. Okay, and then we're just going to extrude this using our extrude button up here. And we're going to extrude this to 0.2 inches. Okay, and we're just going to so use our green check mark. And then if we look, we see that our rectangle has extruded to 0.2 inches. Still going to go normal to our face here with using our little cube in the top right. So an interesting thing about software like this is that you could draw on on faces you already made. So I'm going to go into make another sketch. So then sketch two forms down here, and I'm going to select the face that we just made. And now I can draw on this face with whatever I need, and then I can extrude based off this face. So I'm going to use another rectangle here, and I'm going to go from this corner down here. Doesn't matter where you put it down there because we're going to dimension it right now. So I'm going to make this wall 0 0.2 inches thick. There we go. And now that the lines are all solid black, it means that our, our, our piece is fully defined there. So now I'm going to make another wall. But, in, but I need to know where to put that wall because I want 3.1 inches of space between the end of this wall and the start of the next wall in order to make a 3.1 inch gap for index cards to slide into. So I am going to use the point here. I'm going to put it along this line anywhere. Then if I use the dimension tool, you go from this point to this point, which is the edge of our first wall. And then I want this to be 3.1 inches. So now I know that's going to be the start of our net of our second wall. So then I'm going to simply take my rectangle tool, draw up to the top again, and now I want to dimension this rectangle because it's another wall. I want to make it one or 0 0.2 inches thick. There we go. And then I'm going to need an additional wall right over here to is to basically partially solidify our pencil holding area. So if I draw another rectangle from this corner up to the top here, I'm going to need to dimension again the 0.2 inches. So now we have, if I were to extrude this right now, I would have three walls. But I don't need three or I still need more than three walls right now because I need to um, enclose our pencil area, which is going to be right here. And I also need a back wall so that our post-it notes just don't go flying through them. It has a little bit of a wall on the back to uh, make them not fly everywhere. So I'm going to use another rectangle. Now I'm going to connect this wall and this wall. And I'm going to dimension that right away. And since it's a wall, I'm going to use 0 0.2 because we're going to be using that for all of our walls, actually. Uh, another rectangle down here. 
and then I want to dimension it again. Oop, well, that's not correct. I don't want to dimension, maybe if I go, yeah, right over here. And I want this guy to be 0 0.2 inches. And then I just need my final wall, which is the back of the index card holding area. So if I go from this point to, actually I'll make it right here. And then I can dimension this wall. And since it's a wall, 0 0.2 again. Okay, so this gap is going to be open here because there's no wall here. That's simply just a measurement. So now I'm going to go and use our extrude function again. And I want this to go out by 4.9 inches. Okay, green check mark. And then we can see. This is what we have thus far. So this would be our pencil area right here. So our pencil area is actually complete already. But I don't want just one giant shelf for my index cards and post-it notes and whatnot like that. I want to have three different layers. So again, like I said, our 3D software is a very interesting tool where we can sketch on a face that we have already made. So as you saw, I selected sketch and I selected this face right here. Now I want to have like a little bit of a shelving unit, right? So I need to know where to start my shelving unit. So luckily I already did the math again. So I'm going to put a point right here and I want my shelving unit to start at 1.5 inches from the top of the base. So I'm going to dimension this and I want this to be 1.5 inches high. So now I'm going to use my rectangle tool. I'm going to drag from this end all the way to the other end of this side. And now I'm going to view this as a wall and I want all my walls to be 0.2 inches thick. That's the reason I'm using 0.2 inches is it's thick enough to withstand a decent amount of weight. And it will not take super long to print when printing from a 3D printer. So that's our first shelving unit because I'm going to extend that outwards to connect to the wall on the other side. But I want two shelving units. Actually, no, I want no, yeah, I want two shelving units to be extruded from here. So now I'm going to use my point again, put it anywhere on this line. And now I'm going to use my dimensioning tool to go from this point to the top point of the wall I just made, or the shelf I just made. And I want this to be 1.5 inches as well. So each shelf will have about 1.5 inches in between each other. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did before and make a rectangle from this side to this side. So now I'm going to dimension again. And I want this to be 0 0.2 inches. Okay. So now I am going to simply extrude this to the opposite end of our holder. Now I know for a fact, because I've already done the math, is that from this wall to this wall is uh, 3.1 inches because an index card is 3 by 5. And I want it to exceed, and I want it to be able to slide in there very nicely, so I give it an extra 0.1 inch of leeway. So now I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to our extrude function, and we're gonna extrude our shelves to 3.1. Green check mark, and there we go. <laughs> now, so you see, we have our pencil holding area right here. And then we also have, let's make this a little bit nicer. We also have our three shelving units right here to put index cards or whatever we need. I think that's looking pretty good right now. Uh, okay, now if we want to export this in a file that we could submit to be printed through the Roman 3D Printing Club, we can simply right click down here and we're going to click export. So let's see, we've got part studio name one. You could name that whatever you would like. 
We definitely need an STL format. Um, units in millimeters, if we convert this to inch, that should work better for us because we made this in inches, so there won't be any issue if they were to translate the units. And we're going to want to download this. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see it downloaded onto my computer. And then you can simply go to the Google form for the submission or the free print submissions of the week and simply upload this with your name. And we would be happy to print this for you. Thank you guys. And this concludes the tutorial for the desk holder for Rowan 3D Printing Club. Hope you guys have an excellent day.